Hey everyone and welcome to another video of the Buster Monkey. Today we're gonna check out something much quicker than usual, just a simple technique that you can use when you do warm ups, sketches and quick things before your actual work or you just don't wanna spend too much time. I do this whenever I have time, I try to change subjects, styles, whatever. This is just my playground where I can test whatever I want. It's super useful to free your mind and do something that again, you wouldn't try on your work because you wanna go fast and efficient, but this, uh, this is just something that you do for fun. Not much to say, besides the fact that I wanted to share this with you guys. I hope it would be interesting and uh, please let me know in the comments below if you like this idea of sharing quicker paintings. So yeah, if you do, I keep doing it. But let's go to the video. Okay, today we're gonna paint an island because why not? I gave myself this challenge recently uh, where I just wanna paint islands. It's fun to have water, nature, uh, rocks, uh, different palettes. It gives me the opportunity to explore a lot of things in just one painting. I gave myself about an hour to do this. This, this was the challenge actually today uh, and all the islands that I'm gonna paint in the future and everything that is uh, about this, uh, this specific uh, uh, sketch and uh, technique. Uh, you can also be faster, sometimes I gave myself like uh, 30 minutes, 20 minutes, 15 minutes and so on. Uh, of course, the less the time, the more uh, efficient you have to be with the amount of detail and information that you wanna put in your painting. I try to stay organized, so even if it's a quick thing, I want to have things uh, separated as much as I can, but again, not too much because I don't even want to have that cold feeling of things detached from each other. So immediately I start going with, uh, with some details in the main shape uh, of the island. Already starting with the light direction, that, that was the most important thing. So I'm going into even too many details right now, now that I see. Uh, but also one thing that you can notice is that I'm not zooming too much. Uh, I try to keep the whole canvas in front of me. Of course, I'm going close sometimes just for uh, little things that I, I think they are in, uh, important. Um, immediately when I, I'm happy with the light direction and the amount of information and palette, let's say, it's gonna change many times uh, at this moment, but uh, I, I start defining the, the color of the, of the water, at least a little bit of an idea. You can see in my layers palette that I always have on top uh, the white layer that I use to check the uh, values and uh, I check them very quickly. This is a sped up, I don't know uh, how much in percentage, but uh, I check that very often. It's probably too fast to see. And in the warmth of the of the shape of the island, you can see that I try to discover those uh, cold areas, those cool uh, uh, places where I can cool down the palette a little bit, just because otherwise it would be a crazy uh, hot impact uh, all, all over the place. Starting to add some nature and uh, smaller details, uh, even if again I shouldn't add those smaller details yet. But uh, why not? I'm trying also not to think too much about the time <laughs> rolling. Uh, I have some music on at this moment. I'm just going with uh, in an autopilot. I think actually I took less than an hour to do this. Um, so the pressure was, uh, was on, but it, this is the fun of this exercise. And actually when I was studying, uh, I would do this uh, every day for uh, like 30 minutes each. So even faster. So I should actually go back to that, but uh, you know, work. At this stage, when I'm starting to be uh, too messy all over the place, I start to define some resting areas uh, for your eye. The water will be probably one of those, and the sky, but also the island. I, I don't, I didn't picture the island to be too crazy at this stage in terms of details. Um, so I'm gonna put like a little boat. Again, I have a reference here, uh, but uh, of course I try to stylize things uh, here and there. Uh, just to give myself a little bit of a uh, touch on the on the design uh, But again, the main purpose here is to to have something done quickly to keep your brain fresh um, And again, if you can do this in uh, 30 30 minutes 45 one hour Then uh, imagine what you could do if you have the time to polish it, right? More and more details, uh, starting to add some nature here, some more bushes. Uh, I discovered that bushes are actually a cool way to not only uh, add a quick uh, noise into the image, uh, easy, very easy to lose control of those bushes and go way too far with them. 
uh, but at the same time they once you put them you already start having a scale of the place so always have a something that dictates the, the scale more than anything else as soon as you can because uh, when you start adding those things if something else was too simple and the thing is actually a big thing that you are painting then you have to bring back all the other things that you left behind that now they are way too simple so the sooner you establish the scale the sooner you you know where you are in the in the composition in the painting sometimes you go too far and then you realize that now it looks too big and i didn't have to put all those details in there so in that case yeah it's too late but then you you know you waste a little bit of time always running against the time but i was like uh, okay let's try to do what i usually would do in this case so painting a flat uh, texture of the of the sea what's underwater uh, just quick noise again in the um, in the reference it, it was a pretty clean water with just some rocks on the on the foreground but i was like what if uh, we actually see more of it uh, pushing some greens and putting some blues in the background hit by the by the sky uh, I was pretty happy with where the image was going at this point so I, I didn't mind uh, also keeping it like that without the boat because again I think it gives a pretty good sense of scale but then um, I thought the boat would probably add an even more uh, sense of scale and storytelling to the place and there was a boat in the reference so I was like why not uh, I was good with the timing uh, so yeah, you can sketch it. I, I have sketched it here and uh, I will paint it very soon A cool part of this thing is uh, reflections, which is another thing that I all the, I saved a lot of references uh, about islands and uh, All of them even if they are the same subjects, you know a piece of uh, land uh, in the middle of the of the water they all have different reflections, uh, just a little bit of different lighting, They everything behaves very differently. So I feel uh, it's, it's gonna be a really fun, uh, fun challenge. And uh, in just one image, even if it's the same subject, you, again, as I said at the beginning, you can tell a lot of information and uh, it's a good practice. So both is there. Uh, there's a lot of, uh, there are lots of whites in, uh, in the image, lots of bright lights. Uh, but again, it's a very sunny day and there's not a really clear focal point, there's not a storytelling going on, I, it's just like a fancy illustration, trying to push it further here with the design, uh, maybe too far, maybe not, you decide. I think at the end I'm going to flip it, uh, just to give it a little bit uh, of more inclusion in the image instead of going uh, uh, right to left, I'm going more left to right, so it's, I don't know, it feels more... Uh, uh, pleasant to me here. I was trying to add a second uh, a second one Just because again, I was good with my timing. I think I had like 20 minutes left at this point uh, To get to an hour. So I was just uh, detailing here and there highlights all stuff that would be completely useless if I if I was marking an hour already I would have dropped it immediately and uh, that was it so that's also the beauty of, uh, of doing something like this when the time is up just stop what you're doing and that's it move on move to the other painting uh, the next day and uh, you will see that in the same amount of time with practice you you start to have a, a much bigger result day after day week after week uh, do this uh, it, it, it can be much simpler than this it can be much complex than this you know who, who knows uh, but this is the final result I added some clouds at the end and I actually darkened the top a little bit to add a little bit of uh, driving your eyes towards the bottom and this is it you can see that there's a lot of uh, balance between uh, uh, warm and cold all those uh, warm bouncing lights from the sun bouncing at the bottom of the rocks especially in front around the boat those yellows and uh, oranges uh, surrounded by those blues of course everything is a little more exaggerated but that's the beauty of this exercise so just be you have fun uh, set set a timing to yourself to complete something try to give like a theme in my case islands and uh, please show me your results and that was it as you could see it's very very simple the the way it's approached so i can't wait to see what you guys create with this kind of techniques i hope the video inspires you and helps you whenever wherever it can I'll be quick and I'll just say to don't forget to like the video, share it, subscribe, whatever you have to do, you know what it is. You can find me on Instagram, Artstation, Twitter, Tumblr, 
Don't forget to find my book and my prints on our station. You can find the link below. Join the Discord. Join the Discord. You're gonna find some awesome people there that can help you and uh, you can share, meet each other and uh, just share your uh, artistic journey together. Thanks as always for the amazing support. I will never say thanks enough. We reached 5,000 subscribers on the channel, which is uh, insane. I can't even start thinking about it. Uh, it's too much, too much. Uh, let's keep going, let's keep going together. And again, I see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.